You know, there are so many romantic love stories we know from TV shows and movies. Jack and Rose, Jim and Pam, Oliver and Elio, and well, for a few years now, there is another cute couple in this romantic hall of fame. I'm talking about Villa and Simon. In summer 2021, the Netflix show Young Royals aired for the first time. It tells the story of Swedish crown prince Wilhelm, who goes to the elite Hilerska boarding school, where he meets Simon, a guy from the working class, and he falls madly in love with him. The royal family, on the other hand, is not so enthusiastic about this, and the drama begins. Young Royals is, in my opinion, a pretty well-made teen series. Maybe also because it's one of the few international teen shows produced in Europe. You don't see all these college baseball gym bros here who all look like supermodels, like in most American teen shows. No, it's actually a very realistic portrayal of teenagers, what they look like, how they feel and what problems they might have. This famous Netflix show was shot in Sweden, to be precise, around the area of Stockholm. And today we're going to visit the famous shooting locations of this famous show. And one thing I can already promise, of course, Hilerska boarding school is also included. Let's go. The first place I want to show you today is the living area where Simon lives. And in the series, it looks a little bit like it's, I don't know, a residential area for the working class, I would say. Not so many rich people live there. And then Villa comes with his huge car and it doesn't fit at all. <laughs> uh, well, in reality, I have the feeling the situation is a little bit different. Okay, and here it is. Our dream couple, Villa and Simon, how he's actually called in the Swedish original, not Simon. I'm sorry if I pronounce some of the names wrong in this video. It's because I watched the German dubbed version of this show. And in the German version, they translated all the Swedish names to a more German sounding name. Uh, that's why I'm a bit confused when it comes to names in this show. Anyway, those two guys are Wille and Simon, and they are standing right beside Simon's living house on the right side and right in front of Simon's living area that we can see in the background of the picture. Just to give you a little geographical overview where we actually are, we're in a little village or town called Stenhamra, which is not far away from Stockholm. And if you watch my videos regularly, you might already know this place. Because in Stenhamra, we will also find the query from the PP Longstocking shows that I already showed you in one of my latest videos. Anyway, we're not interested in PP Longstocking today. We're only interested in Wille and Simon and in the residential area he's living in. And there are a few architectural things that are quite interesting in this picture. Uh, for example, the tower in the background looks quite funny, right? This is a water tower. I know it doesn't really look like it because it's standing on stilts. Is that the right word? Yeah, it looks quite funny, but this is actually a quite typical architecture for water towers in Sweden. It stores water and it supplies the residential areas here with water. That's why it's standing here in the woods. The other thing that's interesting about this residential area are those houses. They look a bit... I don't know how to say that. Um, this residential area in the show has some trailer park vibes, doesn't it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Those houses look a bit like bungalows and they look like only people live here that 
don't have that much money, just like Simon's family. And I think that's why they chose this residential area. But I can tell you, in reality, it's definitely not like that. This is actually a very tranquil residential area with well-kept gardens and stuff like that. And I'm pretty sure if you want to buy one of those houses, it's definitely not cheap. What gives this residential area those trailer park vibes is actually that all those houses look the same and they stand perfectly in a row. So maybe that's what makes this residential area look a bit strange to me. Another aspect that makes this residential area look a bit dark and gray and unfriendly is that they shot the show during winter time and in fall. It definitely looks different in summer, as you can see here. And there's one little difference that you can see in this scene. The house on the left side was painted yellow when they shot the show. Today, it's blue. Here's Prince Wilhelm. He's walking towards the meadow I was just standing. He's very sad and upset. And that was filmed from over here. This is the reverse shot. In the background, we can see a parking space and the huge, expensive royal car is parking there. That was filmed from over here. Also, in reality, there is a parking space in the background, but the royal car is gone. <laughs> this is the scene from a different perspective. Once again, we can see the royal car in the background parking in front of some garages. Also, they do exist in reality. And also in this scene, we can see during winter time, it looks dark and gray and unfriendly here. They also put a lot of blue tones in the picture, as you can see. It's not like that in reality when it's summer. So, and now the big question is, what is actually Simon's house? And I'm not really sure because every house looks the same and every house in this residential area could actually be Simon's house. But this one over here has an E on the wall, just like Simon's house in the Netflix show. So maybe it's this one. I decided not to film the front door of this house because of privacy reasons. But if this is Simon's house, there are a few things that obviously changed. For example, there is a huge bush missing on the left side of the picture. And also the window on the right side is painted differently. But anyway, we get a small sense of what Simon's house looks like in reality, just like this. Auf Gerdesfegen nach Westen Richtung Sletterwegen starten, dann nach links abbiegen, um auf Sletterwegen zu bleiben. Okay, now it's time to go on a date with Simon and Willa. And you might remember one of the first episodes when they meet at a gas station and then they walk around in the city. This gas station should be, if I'm not completely wrong, right over here, right around the corner. And here it is, the famous gas station from the show Young Royals, where we can see Wille and Simon on their very first date. And as we can see in the show and in reality, it's just a normal gas station. And they also made no effort to, I don't know, tape off brand names like Circle K or something. No, it's just a normal Circle K gas station and it looks exactly like in the show. The only thing we unfortunately cannot compare are the gas prices. You can see the little error in my video. Anyway, what I can tell you is the Swedish petrol prices at the moment are cheaper than the German ones. <laughs> it was cheaper to do this road trip here in Sweden than in my home country. That's all I can say. <laughs> this is the scene from a different perspective, a close-up shot. Once again, we can see Simon and Wille. And in the background, once again, the gas station, which looks like this in reality. Well, and in the next scene, Wille and Simon walk from the gas station to a soccer field to watch a soccer match. And then they are standing on a huge parking space or something like that. And uh, some girls or guys notice the Swedish crown prince is here. <laughs> well, since we can see the gas station in the background, I think we have to cross the road and go to the other side. And et voila, this is the place where this scene was shot. We can see a pizza and kebab 
restaurant in the background, which obviously isn't here anymore. At least there is no sign on the roof anymore. But the building is still here and also the same like we see it in the show. We can see this chimney on the roof. We can see those two windows. This is exactly the same building. Anyway, some things have changed here. This obviously used to be some kind of a skate park or something like that. You see skating equipment over there. All of that is gone. There is a terrace today where you can sit and eat, obviously. Yeah, the skate park obviously is gone. This is the reverse shot I just showed you. We can see the gas station in the background and that was filmed from over here and here in reality we can see obviously this parking space I'm standing on here is quite new. It looks quite new so I'm pretty sure they built all of that after the show was filmed. And also in this scene we can see this obviously used to be some kind of a construction site when they filmed the show. There are a lot of containers in the background, stuff like that. And what they obviously built here is the Ekeru Badehus which is a swimming pool, the golden building you see in the background. It seems like this was not here when they filmed the show. And what we can also see in this picture are, right, the lights of the soccer field. There is a huge soccer field right behind the Ekeru Badehus. And I think they also used this soccer field as a filming location for Young Royals. But we won't go there today because soccer fields are boring. They always look the same. <laughs> and also it's private property. So I would say let's move on and let's go to the next, a bit more interesting filming location. The next place I want to show you is the place where Simon's father lives. And in the series, they made it look a bit dark and unfriendly. Well, in reality, it's actually just a normal living area. So let's have a closer look. Yeah, this is one of the scenes they show you in Young Royals. It's dark, it's moody, and Simon is walking towards a huge apartment building, which doesn't look that friendly. Well, this is how it looks like in reality. Nothing special here. It's not dark. It's not moody. It's not gray. <laughs> it's just a normal living area with a huge apartment building. Not much to see here, actually. <laughs> this is the house of Simon's father, as we can see it in the show. And this is how it looks like in reality. I decided not to stand right in front of the house because there is a huge playground and stuff like that. I didn't want to disturb uh, the neighbors here. But yeah, that's the house. And this, yeah, I have to say, doesn't really look beautiful. <laughs> I think this style is called prefabricated construction. Is that the name for it? Yeah, this building won't win an architecture prize, I think. Yeah, and I think that's also the reason why they chose this building as the living house or the flat of Simon's father, who is, as we all know, an alcoholic and a drug addict. Yeah, and also in this scene we can see the living area of Simon's father. Simon is walking through the door to visit his father. And in the background we can see the playground and also a very interesting slide. And this slide and the playground are still here today in reality, as we can see here. Okay, it's time for the next date. This time it's not a date between Simon and Wille. This time it's a date between Simon and Marcus in season two. And you might remember the scene when they stand on a huge viewpoint. In the background you can see the city they obviously live in. And well, I think I found this little mountain. <laughs> and here they are, Simon and Marcus or Marcus, is that the Swedish name? I think so. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, and in the background we have a beautiful view of the valley not far away from the town of Ekerö. What we can see in the background is a school on the right side. What we can also see is a beautiful lake in the background and a lot of forest. In my cliched expectation, this doesn't look like Sweden at all. <laughs> there is not a single red wooden house to see here. <laughs> this looks a bit, I don't know, 
a bit Mediterranean maybe, maybe also a bit American. This looks a bit like an American residential area, doesn't it? Anyway, maybe I also have a totally wrong expectation <laughs> when it comes to Sweden. What I want to say is this view is really beautiful and I can totally understand that Marcus took Simon here for their date. <laughs> This is the scene from a different perspective. Once again, we can see Simon and Marcus. Uh, in the background, some snow, not like that in reality. And here in reality, we can see another quite interesting living area on the right side of the picture. Once again, a lot of houses that look exactly the same, standing in a row on a hill in front of a lake. <laughs> That's a really interesting architectural style, isn't it? You don't see a landscape like this very often, right? <laughs> In this scene we can see Simon in close-up and on the left side we can see a huge apartment building in the background that is also still here in reality, of course, we can see it on the left side of the picture. In this scene we can see Simon and Marcus sitting on Marcus's car, they're having a picnic or something like that. And in this scene we can also see this living area I just showed you in the background. All those white houses on a hill in front of a lake, beautiful. <laughs> This is the parking space where Marcus's car is parking and where Simon is standing. That was filmed from over here. In reality, there are a lot of rosehip bushes here. You don't really see those in the show. I don't really know what happened here. It looks a bit different. Also, the gate looks a bit different, but this must have been the place they filmed those scenes. And this is the last scene they shot at this place. Simon and Marcus running up the hill. We can see a lonely tree on the left side, we can see a lonely tree on the right side and a huge telephone 5G pole or something on the right side. Yeah, that scene was filmed from over here and I would say, let's also run up the hill and let's go to our next shooting location. I just arrived at the next shooting location and this shooting location is super weird. I have absolutely no idea what they have done here. It's the church. You can see in the show several times in the first and the second season from inside and from the outside. But I have the theory they don't only show you one church in the show, they show you at least three churches. <laughs> yeah, I will show you some scenes and then I will show you uh, why I have this theory. Okay, let's start with some easy scenes. This is one of the scenes we can see in season two. That's important, remember that? Season two. This is the first episode of season two where we can see all the students coming out of the church, including Alexander, who was betrayed by his friends. And they walk across this cemetery we can see here. And we can also see this is exactly the same place. We can see the tree in the background, we can see this huge meadow or this field in the background, we can see all the graves, we can see this quite iconic tree with the hole in it on the right side of the picture. Yeah, this scene was definitely filmed on this cemetery right here. Here we can see August, the antagonist of the show. I hate him. <laughs> yeah, and also this scene with August in close-up was filmed on this cemetery. As we can see here, there is a red wooden house in the background that we can see in the show and also here in reality. Here we can see the boys right in front of the church door. Alexander is walking towards them and the boys act like nothing happened. <laughs> yeah, all of that was filmed from over here. The church door in the show was opened, so it looks a bit different, but I'm pretty sure it was this church door. Also, this scene was filmed at this place. The group leaves the cemetery. We can see that because there is a gravestone on the right side of the picture that is also here in reality, and there is this white little box thing on the left side of the picture that we can also see here in reality. Here we can see Felice talking to Villa. That was filmed from over here. We can see the white church on the left side of the picture and also the two huts on the right side of the picture. And this is the reverse shot. Once again, the group is leaving the cemetery. That was filmed from over here. We can see that because there is this gate with the two white bollards on the left side and on the right side with a little roof and a cross on top of them. Yeah, that was definitely filmed from over here. And now it gets interesting. This is the so-called 
establishing shot of the scene. An establishing shot is basically that you show the area where the plot is happening before you go into detail and before you film like people in close up and stuff like that. First, you show the area where all of that is happening. And so this is the establishing shot of the first episode of season two. We're still in the same episode. And we can also see a white church here, just like the church I'm walking around here. But if we compare the scenes, look at this. <laughs> this is a totally different church. Look at this. The church in reality has an extension on the right side. The church that we can see in the show doesn't. Also, the area around the church is totally different. There are different trees, there are different graves, there is a different wall, and even those two white bollards that we can see here in the show don't exist in reality. So I was wondering, what happened here? <laughs> Why did they choose a different church for the establishing shot? And I think I know why they did that. This church we can see here in the show was used in season one of Young Royals. We can see that in this establishing shot. For example, that's at the end of season one where the whole group is celebrating Christmas. And we can also see that in this scene, Wille is quite sad. He doesn't know how to move on with Simon. And we can see those white bollards I just showed you on the left and on the right side of the picture. And well, in season two, they used a totally different location for those close-up scenes, but they used the old church from season one in the establishing shot. So I was thinking maybe they were not allowed or able to use the church from season one anymore for filming. So they had to choose a different location that looks almost the same for season two, but they still recorded some establishing shots of the old church or reused them from season one so that viewers of the show don't notice. But well, <laughs> I did. <laughs> I discovered your secret. They used at least two different churches in the show Young Royals. Or maybe three. Because of course I was wondering where exactly is this church we can see in season one and sometimes in season two. And I did some research on the internet and I found another, a third church, where they obviously filmed the inside scenes. And if the internet is right, it's this church over here. This is where they filmed the inside scenes, obviously. But as you can see, yeah, there are two white bollards right in front of the church. But this is also not the same location that we can see in season one and also in some scenes of season two. So maybe this location will remain a secret. <laughs> Hast das Ziel erreicht. Okay. I think here we are <laughs> at our last and most important shooting location of today's video. May I introduce <laughs> Hilerska Boarding School. Yeah, I hope you're ready for the big moment. This is it. This is Hilerska Boarding School in the show. And this is how it looks like in reality. In reality, this building is not a boarding school. It's not a school at all. This is a castle. Kageholm's Slot is its name. It's privately owned and used for conferences and stuff like that. But it's definitely not a school. However, the building looks exactly like in the show. Also, the beautiful and green garden around the castle. Take a look at the pictures. All of those statues and historic walls and stairs and stuff like that, all of that looks exactly the same in reality. The only thing that is a bit different in the show, for some reason, they don't show you the Swedish flag. Yeah, <laughs> there is a Swedish flag on top of the building. <laughs> This is the castle, the school, in close-up. Also in this scene we don't see the Swedish flag, but what we can see is this historic wall right in front of it. This is how it looks like in reality. Here we have August once again. He's doing some sports right in front of the castle. That was filmed from over here. 
In this scene, we can see Wille and Felice and August and all the other students right in front of the school. That was filmed from over here. And also in this scene, we can see not that much has changed. All of the statues, the trees and the walls, all of that looks exactly like in the show. In this scene, we can see Simon right in front of the school, and we can also see a pond right in front of the school. Obviously, there is only water in it when it's summertime, not in winter or in fall. And what we can also see a lot of times in the show is this beautiful avenue in the background. I'm not really sure what kind of trees those are. Are that willows? I don't know, are that willows? If you're an expert, write a comment down below. Yeah, and obviously, they trimmed the trees a bit. In the show, they look a bit wild. <laughs> it's not like that anymore in reality. Here's August once again and once again we can see the beautiful avenue I was just talking about on the left side of the picture, including the expensive royal car. I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to drive with a car here, but I'm pretty sure the royal family is allowed to do that. <laughs> In this scene, we can see the area here really looked a bit greener in the past while they shot the show, before they cut all of those trees. What we can also see is there are two benches missing that we can see in the show. They are not here in reality. And also a statue is missing that we can see in the middle of the picture. This statue is not gone. It's just standing at a totally different place over here for whatever reason. <laughs> We can also see that in this scene, here we can see Simon once again. We can also see the statue in the middle of the picture, which is gone today. And also the two benches on the left and on the right side are gone. In this scene, we can see Simon. He's trying to talk to August about the party. That was filmed from over here. Not much has changed here, but there used to be a tree in the background that they obviously also cut down. There is just a stump left. Okay, before we go to the other side of the building, let's try to find another shooting location first. You might remember all those lake scenes they show you in the series. There is a huge lake and also a huge building where the students obviously stay. Um, and I'm not 100% sure if those scenes really have been filmed right next to the castle, but there is a huge lake over there. You can see it from over there. Um, yeah, maybe let's go there and let's find out. <laughs> Ah, very good. There is a spiral staircase, you see it? And that's definitely shown in the series. Yeah, and if I'm not totally wrong, then this is the building where they stayed. There's also the bench and the table where the students were sitting all the time. Uh, yeah, I would say let's compare the scenes. Yeah, and here's evidence. This is the place as we know it from the show. The students are walking along this food path over here. On the left side, we can see the spiral staircase. And in the background, Kagerholm's slot or Hilerska boarding school. All of that was filmed from over here. This is exactly the place. Here's another scene from this place. And yes, in this scene, we can see the students sitting on those benches I just showed you. All of that happened right at this place. We can see the bench in the middle of the picture and also the tree on the right side. All of those things we can also see in the show. In this scene, we can see Simon and his sister, Sara, walking away from the school. I don't know where they are going because in reality, I think there is just a forest in the background and nothing else. Yeah, also in this scene, basically everything looks the same. We have this little square on the left side, whatever that is with a tree and a bench. Yeah, but I think Simon walked a bit too often on this terrace over here because it's broken, it's damaged. Somebody needs to fix that. <laughs> yeah, but everything else still looks the same, just like in the show. Here we can see Sara. She gets a birthday present from Simon, but she doesn't really like it because she got a better one from her rich friends. That was filmed from over here. We can see this hut and the lake in the background. Here's August once again. <sighs> I still hate him. <laughs> yeah, he's walking along this footpath over here and also in this scene, not much has changed. There's still this red building on the right side of the picture and also the area around August still looks the same. In the next scene, Sada wants to talk to August and they walk through this avenue I just showed you. And yeah, therefore we have to go back to Hileshka boarding school because this avenue is not by the lake. It's this one over here if you take a look at those trees, those beautiful 
old and funny looking trees. They look exactly like in the show. Okay, that was quite successful, right? <laughs> Just a little tip, if you're searching for a shooting location and you don't know exactly where it is, always check out the little things in the picture, like the spiral staircase. Without it, I would not have found this place. So yeah, that helped me a lot. And uh, I would say now let's go to the other side of the castle, because over there we should also find a few more shooting locations. Yeah, this is one of those scenes from the first episode of the show from season one. Wille and his brother are arriving in a convertible in a fast sports car and they park right here at this gate, which still looks the same today. Here's the head teacher of the school welcoming the crown prince that was filmed from over here. Also, the school building from the other side still looks exactly the same. And here's August once again acting like an idiot <laughs> that was filmed from over here and the only thing that has changed here is the color of the door it used to be green in the past it's brown today this is also one of the scenes from the first episode of the show villa and his brother are arriving with the sports car that was filmed from over here and also in this scene we can see not much has changed the beautiful building is still the same in the background and also all of the other elements we can see in this scene the lanterns for example the parking sign there's just one sign in the middle missing for some reason yeah but everything still looks the same Let's go back a few meters. Here's the sports car driving through this avenue. That scene was filmed from over here. And this is the bus station that we can see a lot of times in the show where Sarah is waiting sometimes and she's going on the bus and stuff like that. That was filmed from over here. Once again, we can see not much has changed. It just looks much more friendly when it's summertime. I'm really wondering why they shot the show mainly during fall or winter time. Maybe it's just because of the plot, because the school year begins in fall. But maybe they also wanted to give this show like a moody atmosphere or something. It works pretty well. Look at the scene. It looks much more beautiful here when it's summer and much colder and unfriendly when it's winter time. In this scene we can see the bus station in close-up, Sara and Felice inside the bus station in the dark. That was filmed from over here. In this scene we can see Sara in close-up and the bus station. And of course this bus station is also an important spot for fans. You can see a lot of things written on this bus station, a lot of references. I'm calling the cops if you don't leave, for example. I think that's from the scene where Simon gets harassed by reporters in front of his house a scene that is absolutely not important so i have absolutely no idea why you have to write a sentence like that on a bus station anyway <laughs> this bus station obviously is an important place for fans of young royals in this scene we can see the place once again from a different perspective simon and his sister sara walking across the street that was filmed from over here and in this scene we can see Simon and his motorbike friends in the dark right in front of Hilerska boarding school. They come up with a plan to get revenge on August. Yeah, all of that was filmed from over here. Once again we can see the beautiful castle, the beautiful Hilerska boarding school in the background and also all of those lanterns and the footpath and all of those trees are still here. Well, and before we end today's shooting location tour, before we leave this place, there is one last question I need to answer. Is there really a cave right next to Hilerska boarding school? Or was this just fake? No, there really is a cave right next to Hilerska boarding school. I'm not really sure what this is. There is a door at the end of this passage, obviously. Maybe it's an old cellar dungeon or something like that. But yeah, as you can see, this place really exists just like in the show. Okay, that was my shooting location tour of Young Royals. I hope you liked it. 
Of course, I couldn't show you every single location of the show today because some places I just don't know. <laughs> so if you are from Sweden and know a few more places, maybe write a comment down below uh, or write an email, then we can do it next time I'm here. And uh, there are also some places that are private property, so we can't visit them. For example, this horse stable that you can see in the show several times that plays a quite important role. Unfortunately, it's a private property, so we can't visit it today. However, if you liked this video anyway, then please leave a thumbs up. You can also hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you won't miss any upcoming video. And if you'd like to support me and my work, you can also do that on Patreon. The link is in the description. Or you can become a channel member on my YouTube channel. Um, then you will get exclusive stuff. For example, the addresses of the places I showed you today and new videos before everyone else. So you should check that out. And well, I would say that's it for today. Have a safe journey and see you next time. Thank you.